Hello friends, <coughs> in this video I am going to find out formula for moment of inertia of a hollow circular section and uh, I will solve one problem based on uh, that section. So let us draw first a hollow, rect a hollow circular section. So this is outer circle. Now this is inner circle and this is cut section. Now this is hollow circular section. So it has a outer diameter, outer diameter as capital D and inner diameter is small d inner diameter is small d so let us see how to find out moment of inertia of a hollow circular section so we know that <coughs> moment of inertia of a circular section so forget this inner circle and only consider this big circle so for big circle, moment of inertia about centroidal axis x x is equal to pi by 64 capital D raised to 4. Now forget this outer circle, only consider this small circle having diameter small d. So for that circle, moment of inertia about inner, uh, centroidal axis is equal to pi by 64 small d raised to 4. 4, small d raised to 4. <coughs> now consider this hollow section. So what is this hollow section? One outer uh, circle is there and this inner circle, small circle is cut from this outer circle. So you have to subtract moment of inertia uh, of this inner circle from moment of inertia of this outer circle. So moment of inertia about x, x axis of a hollow circular section is equal to moment of inertia of outer circle minus moment of inertia of inner circle. So that is equal to pi by 64 d raised to 4 minus pi by 64 d raised to 4. So pi by 64 is common. So take common into bracket d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4. So this is the formula for moment of inertia of hollow rectangular section about x x axis similarly about y y axis uh, you know uh, the formula is same so i y y is equal to pi by 64 d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 so there is a same formula for i x x and i y y so these are the formulas for moment of inertia of a hollow circular section you can find out uh, polar moment of inertia by adding these two values. Also, you can find out radius of gyration about x axis, radius of gyration about y axis by using respective formulas. Now, uh, see one problem based on this hollow circular section. Now, see problem based on hollow circular section. A hollow cast iron pipe with external diameter 100 mm. So first uh, uh, write down given. This is given. So given is what? Circular section. Hollow circular section. So this is outer circle. That is external. Diameter is 100 mm. Now this is hollow pipe. Hollow cast iron pipe is there. So 100 mm external diameter and thickness of metal is 10 mm. Now this is thickness of metal. So this thickness is 10 mm. Now on this side also there is thickness that is 10 mm. So in inner diameter is what? 
100 minus this 10 plus 10 means capital D is equal to 100 mm and the inner diameter small d is 80 mm. 100 minus 10 plus 10 that is 80 mm. So you have to find out the moment of inertia of this hollow uh, circular section about its diameter. So find out Ixx or Iyy. About its diameter means this is diameter. So this is diametral axis. Xx. Find out Ixx in this case. Now we have to use simple formula. Formula for moment of inertia about centroidal axis for hollow circular section Ixx is equal to pi by 64 d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4. Simple problem is there. So let us solve solution. Ixx is equal to pi by 64 d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4. That is equal to pi by 64 100 raised to 4 minus 80 raised to 4. So this value becomes uh, 2.2.898 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. So this is Ixx. Similarly, you can find out Iyy also and we know Iyy is also same. 898.8 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Now you can find out also uh, polar moment of inertia, radius of gyration, about x axis, about y axis. And if uh, the problem is like this, uh, external diameter is given, the relation between uh, and internal diameter is not given, but moment of inertia is given, and you have to find out. Uh, if the diameter, inner diameter is unknown, then you can find out inner diameter also. If outer diameter is not given, inner diameter also is also not given. But the relation between both is given. That is, if d by d is equal to 2, is like this. This relation is given. Then, and ixx is given. Then you can find out d and d by using this formula. So, there are, uh, there may be, n number of problems based on every section. So, thank you, thank you very much.